Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Halo. Son of a bitch, throw my. Life. I don't care. This is this is my game. And everyone's dead. But it's not. But didn't you didn't record, record it. it. <laughs> this is the. This is my all-time favorite game. I don't care. Hey, oh, oh, Ian owns Microsoft. Did, and that's why you didn't record it. <laughs> Ian owns Halo. Yep. He owns the IP. Yep. So why is Halo 4 so shitty, Ian? I, I, I let Bill get <laughs> smart with a little bit. Hey, maybe so a I'm Halo 5. So I'm going to demonstrate why the Halo 1 pistol is the best pistol. In the history of first person shooters. A flying aircraft will go down to a pistol. Well, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, man. Let's stop. Let's talk. Come all on, these bullets, man. That's what, that's some that like. What? what that's not that? even lead. That's iron. Did, did, did it even go down? I assure you, it went down. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was so. It, it was. It, it was so like it was so epic that they could not show it off. It made time That's, go forward. That was most likely my recording screwing up. Speaking of which, Halo. Because when I was recording this, this was still at the time when I had my old crappy computer. I didn't have my custom computer at the for, time. For them but, Halo um, 5 fans, uh, the Halo 1 pistol is actually making a return. I think so, we mentioned that in the last one. Yeah, you, you said that in the well, last one. Yeah. I'm bringing it back up because. It's also, um. I like to ask something. In Halo One, it was a uh, five shots to elites, but in multiplayer, it was three shots to regular guys, right? Some BS. Yep. Yeah, I, I never understood that because, like, in like in the other Halo games, like the battle rifle and stuff, did four shots to everyone, as far as um, I remember. Uh, because second, because because second. aliens. They yeah, have alien better technology. shielding. We'll just say that can cannon wise. They they just know how to block. They're, well, it's, I mean, they block with their faces, but still. <laughs> also, for people that haven't played this game before, the Elite Shields actually do not uh, re regenerate. Oh shit, I thought you were gonna shoot Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> the guy. This is actually. Well, I, thought, well, I could shoot him, <laughs> but I'm not going to. This is actually the only game where Johnson can die. But he's still. Well, until a certain other moment in another Halo game, but we won't talk about that right now. But he. he you actually, and you also find them on multiple occasions on this uh, actual mission. But somehow He's in multiple places. Yeah, yeah, but somehow he always survives. Like <laughs> in the book, I think it was some dumb explanation. I said like he has some weird disease, and so like the no, uh, what do you call it? A, the flood don't want to eat him. No, the, the thing is that uh, because Johnson was actually a participant in the uh, in the Spartan One program. Uh, he had a nerve. He had a nerve damage in, to his body, and all that. And it makes the flood. It gives him a slight resistance to the flood, so that it's harder for them to try and infect him. They still could oh. infect him, but it's just difficult. For them, so they just so. gave up trying. Yes. Yeah. Like it's, it's too it, much work. It's, it's <laughs> difficult food when there's like so much e much easier food for them to try and consume. So he, um, so he the he, flood were like what do you call it? If I remember correctly, in one of the more recent books, the flood were shown to be like larval stages of precursors, right? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I I haven't read some of the newer books yet. Well, I know the flood. I know the flood were the, are, are the remnants of the precursors, or what's left after they turn themselves into space dust. Yeah. Yeah. Well, until the forerunners, anyways. But yeah. But no one likes them. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, not, not Why are you not transitioning guns right now? <laughs> Actually, he's the, doing some like he's doing some advanced <laughs> tech over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pro stress. The, pre the precursors were the ones that pretty much made everything in the galaxy, including yeah. the forerunners. And the in the forerunners, the precursors were trying to fit. Wow, what was over there? Oh, him. Uh, uh, they were trying. To are you gonna go new combo now? They were go nah, the noob combo doesn't exist in this game. Well, they, were, oh. they were planning on trying to bring a... Uh, give the galaxy to one of the, its uh, creations. The, you mean the humans, right? Yeah. Uh, well, they uh, they tested the Forerunners first, and they failed. So they're either going to be set for extinction or just left alone. The Forerunners didn't... What the fuck? 
Yeah. <laughs> Hey, best of so that tree is too strong. Anyway, anyway, the full... He was the real... He is the real mastermind. Yeah, the, the, the final Halo. boss of the game. The final boss of the game, that tree. Anyway, well, I don't understand why in gaming that trees were like, are basically like, invincible objects. <laughs> because it's a Because Mother Nature kicks ass. Yeah. <laughs> even, even Grand Theft Auto 5, you can crash your car into it and they never... They don't even like, flinch once. <laughs> Not hey, even, tree, trees are tough. Not even in GTA 5, you can crash a plane into a tree that hasn't even loaded yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that damn good. Right, anyway, as I was saying, the fo the foreigners didn't like how they weren't cho chosen to take to uh, inherit the galaxy, so they raged war against the precursors. Somehow, out 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 tactic them, and I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Whatever they they, <laughs> they fire the, them. They they were better than them, uh, and they were pushed to near extinction. They were driven out of the galaxy, where they were probably either killed or turned into space dust. And then the forerunners th that chased them kind of killed themselves. So no, so, so, no, this... so no one really knows what happened to the remaining precursors. So is this is this entire player gonna be the history of Halo? <laughs> uh, if Ian's talking, then yes. If me and Ramon are talking, then partially. I'm gonna be talking a lot. Yeah. There's I'll also be. some like really weird like ancient human empire or something like Hold that. Hold on a second. Yeah. The, so we were once... just that. All right, go ahead. Just, girl. just that moment there. That shit looked like it was like the that um the, the loading bay looked like it was bigger than uh, smaller than the the uh, the vehicle itself. <laughs> Or was that it just was, me? It was most likely just the distance. Yeah. Alright, so anyway. Plus the vehicle didn't actually really come out of the ship. Yeah. It just popped in. <laughs> it just popped well, in. The the Pelicans have the warthogs like stationed on like the on that on right in, in front of the loading bay. Like they they have it like uh hooked on. Cause the loading bay is where the the humans go. The vehicles are just right up right up. Out of it. Yeah, they're just on the under the underside. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, what you were saying before, Ramon, the humans did it at one point have were a spacefaring, uh, species, along with the forerunners and uh, they yeah, were, and the forerunners waged war against them, uh, and then they got and the humans got wrecked. <laughs> yeah, we got our shit kicked. Well, in. <laughs> what was really happening? The humans were actually fighting the flood at the time, and they were like. They were trying to figure out a cure, and I guess they did have some kind of cure, or at least a resistance to it. But the flood was expanding too fast in through human territory, so they had to try and survive so that the flood would, so that they could exterminate the flood. And it was also going to in, in, infecting other worlds. So the human, the ancient humans decided that instead of trying to warn the forerunners and all that about their infected worlds and that would take a lot more time for the flood to infect them <laughs> then then they would just destroy every single <laughs> oh okay so it's like oh if i die you're gonna die with me well, no not not that it's just they didn't want the flood to spread and if they tried to warn the forerunners about it then it would take paul it would take time for politics and all that shit to kick in and it would give the flood more time to spread so they decided to just take the quicker route and just kill everything. So the everything Halo dies. spoilers for this game. What? Well, I think anyone watching this at this point at least already knows the vague story of Halo or most of what happened. This is this is like millions of like hundreds of thousands of years before this game. For Monster, we're good. <laughs> no, no, but like you kind of spoiled a big plot twist of Halo One. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we say that out loud? <laughs> well, if anything, Slendy can just pretty much tur turns nothing but beefs. <laughs> like, just take out the just um just blip out all the crucial points. But and, I'm not gonna do that. But, but anyway, <laughs> uh, so the flood infect the, 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 the <laughs> all right, Yeah, I, no, I'm not doing that. I know. I'm just joking. But yeah, the the flood were spreading. The humans had a cure or at least a resistance to it. Uh, the but the flow was spreading too fast, so instead of playing politics, they just decided we're going to take this into our own hands and just destroy all of these planets for because of the slim chance that the flood could survive on them. 
Yeah. The forerunner and there's the also for, like the foreigners thought that uh it was the humans expanding into their territory and re- waging war. So then the humans were fighting a double sided battle with the flood and the forerunners and pretty much led to their loss and eventual de evolution into yeah. what we are right now. But then there's also this other thing, because, like, you know how there's, like, two didacts and stuff, and, like, there's a second one, and... I feel so bad for Jerome right now, because he has, like, no idea yeah. what we're talking about. Uh, there's a reason for that, too. Because, like, yeah, the two didacts was because of the whole, like, um, crypto and stuff. Well, with the two didacts, uh... Yeah, there's there's Born Cellar, and then there's Hail of Four didact. Yeah. The, 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 the one who's the a shit. jerk and the one who's a cool guy. Right, the, so, the didact in Halo 4... Was the original didact, and yeah, the jerk. Yeah, he, he was pretty. Well, not he wasn't that much of a jerk, but he was the one that waged war against the humans during that that those times. They didn't know about the flood then, but uh, I thought you were gonna go off that cliff for a second there. Uh, oh shit! Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, funny now that you funny that you mentioned that because on my test recording when I was doing this. Uh, I fell off the cliff and I got a checkpoint right dire- directly before I fell off the cliff. <laughs> so every time, so every time the game would load, I'd fall directly off the cliff. <laughs> was there no load last checkpoint thing? No, every time it would load the last checkpoint, that's where the checkpoint would be. Well, what load so last I, last checkpoint? I, there's no option for that. All right. So anyway, uh, that the original Didax, which we find in Halo Four, he uh, actually becomes crazy about the flood and. Uh, tries yeah. every means necessary including to decompose the humans and all that uh, change his body so that you might want to explain what some of this stuff is because for people who are not right. watching who don't, who don't know what the fuck decompose right, means so, <laughs> well we haven't even so, gone to the flood really so decomposing is pretty much he had the didact has turning them into machines the, really the, the, you dig, digitizing he, them, he has basically. these machines which pretty much bi- pretty much uh Digitize. Yeah, digitize or yeah. break apart the the energy and matter from living organ organis, organisms, and then uses that to make a their foreigner like killing machine AI known as uh, the knights. You get all that, Drew? <laughs> I just play Halo. <laughs> All I know is Mr. Chief is a cool guy. He isn't afraid of anything. <laughs> <Mr. Pretty> much- <laughs> Halo is a pretty cool guy. He fights aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. You guys think we sad. Well, you you're sad. basically you basically you spoil the entire series of Halo. Like all this backstory could have been could have been just stretched along the whole time. Well, to be watching, fair, they like, never mentioned half of the backstory anything? in games. Ian, contra- Ian, contrary to popular belief, not everyone in the world has played Halo or even knows anything about Halo. I didn't. I didn't spoil. Like, yeah, the thing about I, I. Well, you did spoil the. Fl- no, you kind of spoiled the flood. Yeah, <laughs> the flood. Yeah, this, flood. Uh, 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 we're not even at the point where the flood actually appears. Yeah, we're right not even anywhere near that. Right now, right now, we're just killing. We the, still have like ten missions left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, yeah. So, like, uh, no, it's just okay. Don't don't get us wrong. It's just that. <laughs> It's it's just that everyone. This game's been around for like years now, so nothing. There's nothing too much to spoil. Yeah, that, that, but, that's, that's why I'm. But, uh, that's why I'm like being but, a little bit lenient because like this, if if you own an Xbox and you've played this game before, or or just pretty, pretty much why anyone own an Xbox, or at least is, well, it, yeah, it's pretty much the only reason anyone yeah, owns an Xbox. Like, but here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Like now, now that you pretty much said every single thing, you pretty much ran out of commentary in like the first two parts. Oh, I. No, I'm sure. No, I'm sure we'll be able to stretch it out somehow. Oh, tr- yeah. I know every. I don't know almost everything about the series. I, I. What is Chief's last name? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, story, hey, story, like, wa- story, thing- story, wise of commentary is free, um, it's pretty much like talked out, talked about through part one too. But then again, I guess that does help. Um, Save a lot of trouble for later. At least, at least it'll allow us more time to actually explain this game's story. Yeah. Like, the thing about Halo is that, like, the books and stuff, they have a... The, the universe is, like, really fleshed out and interesting and stuff, but the games only use, like, 5% of the total universe. Well, to be fair, it's because they're... Because it's a, it's such a different format. You can't fit all the information from a book inside a game True. Like that. That, True. Or, at the very least, it's not an easy task to do. It's not, like, it's not the thing you'd expect in a first-person shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, don't like, get... An it, RPG, maybe. 
Like, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, like, I, I, I enjoy world building. Like, I really, like, I think I've already mentioned this before. But, like, I enjoy world building. But at the same time, if I'm playing a game, if I'm, if I'm playing a game at the same time, it's kind of, like, the last thing I want, I want to, like, listen to while I play because it's, like... Yeah, you don't want exposition. I, I yeah. enjoy world building. I just... I know I'm getting way ahead of myself because this commentary isn't going to happen for a while. But if you're going to do world building, don't do it in the way that Halo 4 do it, did it, where you have to basically mandate people read the books to understand any of the story. Yeah. My my problem... My and also, don't do it, like, pretty much every JRPG, where it's pretty much long... Or, and also Metal Gear Solid, but, like, where yeah, it's pretty yeah, much long yeah. exposition dumps. That's exactly what I was saying. Because that's the worst that, way. That's exactly what I was saying. The Metal Gear Solid, if, if it, you know, it might as well be a movie. Yeah, the game I'm honestly well, surprised four there was... in particular. Yeah, four in particular. But I'm honestly surprised there's never been a Metal Gear movie. And well, uh, I mean, and then another thing too is like, especially with uh, when I played Kid, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, as enjoyable as the game is, with the amount of dialogue they put in there, like in terms of like backstory and and um, few ex- like few uh, world building here and there, it's kind of distracting. Uh, I never really had that big of a problem with that in uh, Kid Icarus. Yeah, in, in the end, I got used to when I got, and, and, it, and it wasn't really much of a, um, a problem for me. But because because usually with games like that, whenever it's heavy on dialogue, I always turn the volume for the mute for the music and sound effects down and turn the volume for voices up. No, like I, I like the commentary they have while like while you're playing to the level, but like the dialogue, some of the dialogue they have, like you're kind of interested to hear what they have to say, but at the same time you're trying to busy, you know, you're busy trying to not die. <laughs> Well, that's that's why I said turn up the volume for the voices and turn everything else down. Which, Simple. Which you know, there's also the thing like the thing about exposition is it can be good. It's just that it has to be like naturally done. For example, like you can't say something that everyone in the universe would know. Like take taking apart Metal Gear Solid, everyone has animal machines, but Snake <laughs> like you shouldn't like like you shouldn't spend an hour telling Snake what animal machines are, even though everyone already knows in the universe. Yeah. I mean, that's done more for gameplay for the player, but yeah, in story-wise, it wouldn't make any sense because he already knows. Yeah, but like, if if you're going to explain it, it has to be done naturally, not in a way that stands out like that. Like, I no. think that probably the best way I've seen it, like, done in a game would probably be in Xenoblade, because, like, most of the stuff not ever know because of, like, just story explanation why, because everywhere is, like, uh, everywhere is, like, disconnected, so yeah. Now I, have a que- now I have a question for the gameplay. <laughs> um, after digressing for a while. Well, I mean, um, it, it was still on topic, sort of. So. Yeah. I think you're on the wrong uh, one, by the way. <laughs> Shut up. In in later <laughs> in, about in, in later in later uh, Halo games, they fixed the problem with like you just bass. killed a, you just killed a marine. <laughs> hey, he jumped in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I just stabbed that guy. The guy just ran into my knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, it's his Andrew, fault. What were you saying? Andrew died. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, no, do they fix the problem of being able to tell between um, friend and foe? Because right now you just clearly ran over one of your um, one of your allies, and you couldn't really see him. <laughs> well, that's just due to the fact that the AI is shit. <laughs> but yeah. like, no, it's just like in the distance, you can really you can barely tell what is that. That could easily be like one of your allies, and you accidentally shoot him because well, it's so far away. Well, I th- did they did they, did they at least change I that feel- later on where they have like a marker a marker to tell you who like who uh, like it's some of the Halo well, games. Well, I well with so, the yes. with the uh, motion tracker, it's different colors for the enemies, but also I feel like you you're getting that impression just because like the graphics aren't like up to par. Well, well, these aren't cutting edge. You know, even then, even then, there's nothing. There's nothing really hurting you from just putting like a little arrow above their head, so you can tell what like if that's a friend I mean, or foe. Like, I think because I mean, yeah, you have that. You have that little blip down there, but like it's kind of faded. It's kind of blending in. I can ba- I barely noticed it that was there until you mentioned it. Like in the other Halo games, like it's it's a bit better. I, I feel I think in Halo Reach they actually add a marker. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but the other ones you pretty much just gotta know. Well, to be fair, like, the enemies are a lot more different looking. Yeah, the enemies look a lot different, so they stand out a lot more against everything else. And also in the remake of Halo 1. Yeah. (laughs) The thing just took bullets, like, oh, uh, (laughs) you Uh. killed me. (laughs) Something that I really do, like, love about this, uh, this, uh, franchise, Halo. Ian, what don't you love about this? Well, um, true. Uh, but... All those guys, those guys are putting up a good fight. 
but <laughs> he's gonna die. Soon. <laughs> but one of the, one of the no, things that, right? I do love most about it is it's so much different than like the normal shooters that you find, like the modern shooters, like Call of Duty, the Calls of Duty, mm, uh, and uh, <laughs> Battlefield, uh, the Butterfield yeah, and Butterfield, because uh, like they're like more like really gritty and like just browns and all that but oh so but, okay. like with like the cup like halo there's like all these vibrant colors energy weapons with like okay different well, colors well, fair, you're, you're, enemies you're, you're to be fair you're basically um like you're basically comparing modern warfare no pun intended to with with sci-fi where you're allowed I'm, to use more colors well, and yeah stuff. but I'm, I'm i'm saying though it's it's and the also, same like, genre speaking of which like Reach was also kind of gritty. Like I, I feel, I feel Reach was going for that gritty vibe too. Yes, but at the same time, I still think that has more color than some of the modern shooters we have now. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm just saying though. Like it, it, in in like in Call of Duty and stuff like that, they're being more realistic as possible. Here, this is sci-fi. You're in outer space. You can have all kinds of like purple colors. Yeah, but now, but now uh, purple colors, green colors, and stuff like that because because you know it's high technology, science, and stuff like that. You're able to like bring it, um, take it up yeah, a notch. But, uh, so you, of course, they. So things are a little more distinct. Well, to oh, be dude. fair, wrong shit. You could say Battlefield's trying to be realistic, but that all falls out of the window when you realize that when people like are getting shot at, they don't their vision doesn't start blurring. Well, for no, no but, reason. But, but I don't. I don't mean like. I don't mean like like aesthetics like that. I mean like just basically environments and stuff like that. Because oh okay, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Because like right right now like holy shit, the thing's gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry, it'll be fine. Like, that right, guy's right, still alive. <laughs> like, no, he's dead. Like right now, like right now, like right now, it looks like something you see like in a, in a on, on Earth. But like you can go to like an alien planet. And there's all kinds of like random stuff going on, like pulsating floors or green, yeah. like green liquid. There's going to be a lot of like more vibrant rooms later on. I'd say about two missions from now. Actually, no. Oh, one mission. Well, oh, it's time for truth no, and reconciliation, yeah, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, next, the next mission. mission. The sniper mission. Yeah, Truth and Reconciliation. Which is actually the name of the ship that you are going to be boarding. Hence why the level is called Truth and Reconciliation. <laughs> is Johnson going to be here? Yes, Johnson is here. Johnson's always here, let's be honest. As far as, well, there might be more than one Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. Trust nobody, not even yourself. Trust, trust nobody, not even Johnson. What about Johnson? No. Yeah, Johnson's alright, but not Johnson. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> what about John, Johnson, Jonathan, and John? Alright, unfortunately, what about Jay, Jonah, I, would, Johnson? I would love to continue with this, but we are out of time. So next time on Cross Factor Comms, we'll see what happens. You know the part's not, you know the you part's not over up. for like another three seconds. <laughs> next time on Cross Factor Comms, we meet Johnson. John, James, John Johnson, Cena. Jameson. <laughs>